Civil society organisations, especially at the domestic level and regularly supported by international non-governmental organisations, are an essential part of, of building this fabric of a torture-free society. They are often the frontline providers of support. They involve human rights defenders, medical practitioners and others. And certainly I'll be collaborating with those groups to hear from them about what really makes a difference for them on the ground, where their priorities are, and trying to balance that with the agenda I've uh, set forth for the mandate. As well as, of course, I hope that civil society groups of all kinds will contribute to my report so that those reports can be reflective of good practices and challenges and that they will also uh, resonate beyond their own borders, that there will be other results from uh, the work that, that they are doing.